National Ceiling Fan Day. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, happy National Ceiling Fan Day, everyone. So, um, today I am going to be doing a video of the ceiling fans in my grandparents' house. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to record the uh, JC Pennies and the other two fans, um, just because um, I um, I might get home late tonight and I might not have time to film them. But this is Plan B. So, um, yeah. Um, Starting off my bedroom, we have the uh, Monte Carlo Mini ceiling fan, 24 inches. This is uh, the early version. Um, so, um, yeah, here is the early version of the Monte Carlo Mini ceiling fan. Um, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for, um, I think it was $20. I don't know. It's in uh, good shape for um, what it is. So, um, here's low speed. It gives off a great breeze. Anyways, here's low speed. I am going to be doing a collection update um, probably this weekend because that's when I'll be able to record everything. I'll probably like, record uh, tomorrow or in, uh, Sunday or whatever. Yeah, this is going to be my first National Zealand Fan Day video on this channel. I tried to record, um, but um, I didn't feel like doing it. I have like these uh, candle bulbs in there. It, it's a decent little thing. Pulls a lot of air. <sighs> Turn that back to low. So here's this Hampton Bay Carousel 2 ceiling fan. I got this uh, off of eBay very cheap. This is not a fan that you get cheap. So, um, yeah, let me just turn the light on. So it's been a great fan. Um, a little buzzy, but that's no big deal. I only paid for, uh, like 16 bucks for this thing. And, and it was new in box too, like I said. Here's the box for it. It's just another mounting bracket. And they still have the owner's manual, the white blades, the um, other cup, the switch cap. I don't want it to have a light, but um, yeah. Anyways, medium. Oh yeah, and at the end, I am going to have a little surprise for you guys. And, high speed. Lately, it's been doing this rattling thing, like, this way. Yeah, like that weird rattling thing. It'll, it'll, it'll like, shake a little bit. That's, like, the first time it ever done this. So, yeah. Turn this off, and uh, we'll move on to our next thing. All right, so our next fan is the Encon Casanova, the first generation. And this thing is all messed up because look at it. It's so weird. If you put the um, switch down, it's updraft. Because it goes the other way and I feel no air. But when I flick it up, which will be the updraft, it does downdraft. I never saw this on a fan before. It's uh, really weird because like, like when I do put it on the downdraft, it actually blows air because, you know, the summer way, the winter way. Anyways, here's low speed. I'm thinking of I might replace this fan. I'm still kind of thinking about it. And I noticed that um, I think this one, the vents are smaller than the other one. The vents are, the vents are bigger. I'm not really sure, but that's how I see it. The bearing noise is extremely loud on this thing. I'm gonna try to oil them up a little bit. It's 42 inches. This one, um, it's one of the early ones which didn't have the stencil or whatever. Yeah, it is wobbly too. Well, there's a good amount of air though. All right. I don't know why um, up is downdraft and then down is um, updraft. It's so weird. All right, let's move on to the second Casanova. All right, here's the uh, second Casanova. I was wrong because the other one has the bigger vents and this one has the smaller vents. As you can tell, I put a bull light kit on this one. Fortunately, it doesn't fit because it's one of my major childhood fans. I parted it out. And as you can see, there's like some dust or rust on the motor housing or whatever. So, yeah. 
I have it slipped out through the glow because just didn't put it back in yet. So yeah. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I flipped the blades on this one, so it's the rose side. So um, yeah. Here's low speed. We'll go to medium now. It's buzzy like the other one. Well, not buzzy. Just bear noise. It sounds like it's buzzy, but it's just bear noise. And I think the other one is defective because the reverse switch on this is perfectly fine. It's that other one, which is opposite. So weird. I think that one is defect. That came defective from uh, the manufacturer. Well, the place where it's made. The company that manufactured it. And yeah, this one is wobbly too. I don't know if these are like the Whitex um, Celestes or something, but I think they are Encon Casanovas. Not very sure. All right, let's do the last fan, then we'll move on to the surprise. All right, so here is the uh, last fan, the um, Encon Monarch, and um, cane size facing down. And what's pretty cool about this fan, you could have it four blades as well, because there's a four blade, five blade flywheel. So I'm not gonna show this fan at all speeds, because um, I just don't feel like getting up there and pulling the chain. So yeah, let's uh, move on to the surprise now. And um, We'll get to that when I'm done with this. So let's go back upstairs for the surprise. Before we get to the surprise, I just want to um, come up to my uh, grandparents' barn to um, show you the, um, this, I think it's called the Hunter Grand Vista ceiling fan. I will give you a closer look, but um, this thing has been running for quite some time, but unfortunately it's not working anymore and I am so mad. And... This is actually going to be in my collection now. Go, go up here. All the pile of stuff. And here it is. I believe this is 70 inches, the Grand Vista. But look at... It doesn't work. And as you can see, the, the paint is like flaking off. Oh, there goes a piece. So, yeah. Sadly... This does not work, which I'm kind of upset about, but it's probably just the remote. I'll probably just control on the pull chains, but let's move to, to the surprise now. All right, guys, when I take my hand off the camera, you will see the surprise. All right, here it is, the Harbor Breeze Rainbow Ceiling Fan. I put it along with my Hampton May Carousel Ceiling Fan, and I am the very first person to put a three-way pull chain in it because it is three by because these two come on now all of them and the spotlight is adjustable too so I can have it any way I want so it's like that and yeah the box isn't that sturdy so yeah bear with me if this thing wobbles a little bit the box isn't the best for up there all right Start on low speed. I might replace the capacitor on it because the capacitor is kind of bad. This thing goes perfect with my carousel. And um, I'll, I'm wondering if um, this thing will glow under black light. Because I do have three black light bulbs. The ones that like perform the black light. Medium speed now. Gives a good breeze. Probably they call it harbor breeze. A little wobble, not bad though. Alright, high speed now. Shut these off because not working with these anymore. It's a little darker. Yeah, it does a little wobble. It's not bad though. Two, four, six. I have like these little um four watt nightlight bulbs in. And if I do turn the uh, light off to the carousel, it will do a good job performing um, nighttime light. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, whoops, I almost killed myself in something in my room. All right, 
that was the surprise for um so National Ceiling Fan Day. Happy National Ceiling Fan Day to all you fan collectors, and I hope you had a good one. So, yeah, with the, with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye!